Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today, or tonight should I say, it's been a long day ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to talk about Chapter Approved. Because Chapter Approved is on its way out, it should be on pre-order this weekend if I'm not mistaken. There's been a bit of controversy about the two books which we'll get into, but first off I want to start talking about some um, potential... Um, leaks, and when I say leaks, it's basically this little post that keeps popping up in my inbox, people keep tagging me on social media and stuff like that, so I just want to go over it, because I personally think that this is as false as as it comes. So let's jump in, let's get started with that and we'll move on to the two book thing. So in the background now you are seeing uh, what was sent to me and I've, I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen it by now, it's a couple of days old um, it's a potential some of the leaks that are coming from this um, chapter approved book. Um, again, I, I, can't, I can't believe it because some of the things on here seem ridiculous and one of the main things is the space marine stuff this is what really threw it for me um is the actual space marine stuff so um it says here chapter proof was printed before the codex supplements dropped um the chapter proof writers weren't in much contact with the supplement authors um which uh, i i kind of can believe that when it comes to it because when you go to like forge world people and you and you ask them about forge world products coming over to 40k you know like for example some of the custody stuff hey are these going to be getting rules for 40k because technically you know they're still around and stuff they don't really know so i can see different departments not really talking to each other but i personally thought that the chapter approved authors are the gw writers and am, am i am i am i completely wrong about that please you know, inform me if I am wrong. Um, right, below it, this is the thing that threw me for it. Chapter approved, chapter approved, sorry, I can't be able to speak. Chapter approved has a lot of marine point drops, which is, <laughs> that, 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 that makes me smile as a space marine player, but it also makes me think, shh, sh really, really, space marines, the, the, the army at the moment that is completely kicking everyone's butts, depending if you play like Imperial Fist, Iron Hands, they're like the two meta ones, but Salamanders, Ultrarines, White Scars, if you play them right, are completely kicking ass at the moment. And for that post to say that they are getting a point drop is, uh, I, I just can't see it. I'm, I'm just going to say it. That if, if anything, Space Marines need to be nerfed. It's, I cannot believe I'm saying this. Space Marines need to be nerfed as much as... As I love my executioner tanks, please don't touch them, GW. I know it's got to come. Because executioner tanks at the moment are just islands of absolute dacker death. That You just put it down, heavy laser destroyer, and you just blow everything up. And you laugh as a child as your enemy drops to his knees and weeps in front of you. It's glorious. Now, if we go to the next one down, it says guardsmen and other four-point infantry going to five-point. Uh, to match cultists, I can kind of believe that, the cultists, both a lot of chaos players weren't happy with that, again, I can believe that, tank commanders are going up 20 points, I don't know if that will be that effective, I'm not really an Imperial Guard player, so I can't really give my complete um, um, feedback on that, same with the shield drone stuff, shield drones can't use feel nor pain on mortal wounds, um, again, is that going to be massively effective, um, I've only played against one person with Tau before, and he put so many shield drones down, and I absolutely hated it, so maybe that is a good thing, goddamn Tau hate them so much and um, Eldar minus one's a hit strat capped at minus two orcs are losing all units without models to legends we already knew this apparently in brackets yeah this warhammer legend stuff is apparently something big um cult marines go to i'm um, sorry cult marines go to two wounds but get a point bump does that mean a points bump in a good way or a points bump in a in a bad way? I'm going to say that means in a bad way where it goes up. No points drop for regular CSM or obliterators. Admech uh, canticles changes to require every unit in the army to be admech. No more rusty 17. I have no idea what that means. Um, when, when I read stuff like this, um, as always, I have to state this. I am not a tournament player. I, I will never be a tournament. Like I, I, I won't go out my way. To go to tournaments. Yeah, I'll go to one or two just to have a little bit of fun. But when I come to make my army lists, I make them out of fun. Don't say because I've got three executioners that no, Varak, you are definitely a tournament player. I got the executioners before all these abusive rules came in. Okay. So so don't hold that on there. I just think they're an awesome looking tank. And you know me, if something's awesome and it's if it's primaris, I'll buy the balls out of it. And that's what I did with the executioner tanks. So looking at that list now, and you've looked at the list, what do you think about that? Do you do you think that is 
legit for me. The only thing that made me just laugh at this and think, no, no way this could be real, is with the point uh, the point drop for the Space Marines. I, I just cannot see Space Marines getting point drops. I, I think it's absolutely ridiculous if, if that was to happen. It would just, it would be complete madness. At the moment, everyone is like, the Space Marine versus Space Marine. This would send the entire community overboard. It's like, okay, everyone play Space Marines. So for me, I'm going to call it a fake, but of course, I'd like to hear your opinion. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's fake? If you think it's real, let's just say for argument's sake, it's real for the moment, okay? If it is real, what is the best thing for you? What, what what do you like about it the most and what do you hate about it most? Of course, if it is real, for argument's sake, again, then the point drops for Space Marines will be nice. That means I can fit more glorious stuff in my army. So moving on to, of course, the actual official chapter approved, not rumours or hearsay or anything like that. Um, there are about to be two books. Um, there's going to be a Minotauran book and there's going to be a chapter approved book. It says here, this year's chapter approved makes checking your points and writing your next killer list super simple. Rather than just providing the changes, you'll get reference points for every unit currently in the game this means you'll only have to look in one place when getting match play ready these are all contained in this lovely little booklet the minotaurium field manual included with every copy of your chapter approved now i can see where people are a bit mad about this why didn't why why, why not just put it in one big book have this one big book yeah i can see the argument because eighth edition is becoming and one of these things where it's ugh, so many books. There's literally so many books now, especially you know with White Dwarf and stuff. If you bring in like a certain ally with your army and everything like that, like Inquisition, and um, bloody hell, you have to go out and get that book, then that book, then oh yeah, it's there's 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 a lot of books um, in Eighth Edition at the moment, which is kind of funny because um, I, I remember reading somewhere and I I don't know where it is, but I I I'm a hundred percent behind this. I read it. And it said that 8th edition will be a lot more friendlier because you won't require that many books. And now we have all the books. Um, but on, on the bright side, looking from the other side, I like what they said, where it means that this means you'll have to look in one place when getting match play ready. So it has everything from all, all the points for all the units in this one book. I absolutely like that because then, you know, okay, let me get my codex out. Let me get this book out. Let me get this book out. Everything's just in one place, which I absolutely like. So it, I think it all depends on how you personally feel about it. I don't really mind it that much, but I do understand if you absolutely hate it. It's just one of them things. Yes, I hate carrying a lot of books around, but I understand it with the way they've done it with this one. Now, of course, the main thing in Chapter Approved is that things get nerfed or things get a bonus. This is this this is what we all wait for. Like, for me, I'm waiting to see if my executioner tanks get nerfed into the ground. Um, but in this article, it actually goes through some of the things that are getting there, a little bonus. First off... It's Dark Angels. It says, Space Marines of all flavors have seen some cracking updates this year with first founding and successor chapters alike getting models, rules, and points. Chapter approved gives Dark Angels an update in line with their Codex Adherent Kin. So I'm not too sure what is going to be in this, but apparently it says, if you love the iconic units like Ravenwing Black Knights, you'll love this update. These plasma-toting bringers of vengeance, for instance, have been dropped from 38 points to 34 points now again i've never played dark angels is that good or is that bad i can't really judge uh, judge in and make um and make make a stand on this gray knights on the other hand i can because i was a massive collector of gray knights while i say i was a massive collector i had an army of gray knights and i sold them out of frustration because they were just utterly crap um and reading this i, I <laughs> I want to say I'm happy for Grey Knights, but I think they need more when it comes to the actual rules themselves. I think they need more. They they they, they need more power in the psychic phase. They just need more power on the table to sling around and psychically slap someone. It's it's just these are like well rumored to be from the Emperor's Gene Seed. They are like the Emperor's top of the range, like special forces, demon fighters. You know, it, it, they they are like the best of the best when it comes to the Astartes. And they just don't feel like that on the tabletop. They feel really, really awkward. Um, awkward? Awful? I can't believe speak tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. They feel really awful to play. And that's why I end up selling my army. But, of course, if they do get the stuff back and this do start to be good again, I will be the first one to admit that I was an idiot to sell my army, go out and buy a brand new force of these because um, I absolutely love them. It says the Grey Knights are another 
set of space marines who've seen some significant reductions across both characters and core units that every arm uses. A member of a strike squad now costs on an average a mere 17 points per model after you've kitted them out, while their Terminator counterparts will now come come to around 35 points a model. That is pretty decent. I, I, I really do like that, 35 points. But again, I still think they, they, they just need something extra, some more rules, some more stratagems, some more relics to really make them stand out. Combat doctrines are something. This is what I'm looking forward to now, to see what kind of... Sp- special to these chaps get are they going to use like that you know the the devastated doctrine are they, are they going to use like the assault doctrine and stuff like that or is gw going to give them a certain flavor when they get their own codex dropping points is perfectly good i like that i like the points drops but they need that extra step to make them competitive and to make them i personally think a little bit more fun to play on the tabletop it has some similar stuff to necrons and aldari flyers as well um, it says uh, Trezak Praetorians, for instance, have seen a, tr- a chunky reduction of 26 to 20 points when armed with rods of uh, a covenant, or 22 points when armed with void blades and particle casters. Again, I'm not really a Necron player, so I have literally no idea if that is good or is that is bad. It says Aldara, um, Aldari players. God damn it! Can we just nerd these army into the ground? God damn pointy ear, little gits. I hate him so much. Aldari flyers, as experienced Warhammer 40,000 players will know, Aldari flyers are an excellent pick for match play due to their firepower. Yes, because everyone you see is basically like a flyer spam. Like every right, hands down. When I went to Heat Four, not as pl- being in Heat Four. Um, I was just playing like a, a big narrative game on this massive table. It's like 20,000 points. It was amazing. But every El- Eldar army I came across was just flyers. It was just like everyone's like more or less a flyer unit. It was hilarious. But then again, I can't really argue because every other player then was basically a space marine playing into the eye in the hands, crimson fist, or bloody imperial fist. So I can't really argue on their front. Uh, so it says a number of options that our playtest has found were consistently overperforming, have had their points nudged up. At 150 points, the Crimson Hunter X Art remains a great choice, but is less of an auto include as its Razor Wing Jet Fighter now at 115 points. Okay, so they knock that up a little bit. I wonder how the Eldar players are going to react to that. Hopefully, they cry that much that I will um, uh, I will drink their tears. But then again, with, with Eldar and stuff and our emotions, knowing them, they'll probably birth a god out their own ass or something because that's how they get down. Right, that is it for me. This has been a um, another video, just my little thoughts on chapter approved. Again, what do you think about the rumor stuff? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's fake? I think it's fake. I'm just going to say it. I think it's fake. I don't believe it one bit. Um, really looking forward to chapter approved. Please, GW, don't touch my executioner tank. It's fine. You know, it's not overpowered. It's not broken. Just leave it as it is. And we can all get along. See you in a bit, everyone. Have a great night and bye-bye.